New at five, a bipartisan movement in Sacramento to investigate the CSU system takes another step forward today. Assemblymember Jim Patterson and other state legislators filing the paperwork for a state audit into CSU's Title IX policies and procedures. This comes after the stunning USA Today articles and the resignation of Chancellor and former Fresno State President Dr. Joseph Castro. Our Medeiros Bab joining us live in studio in Medeiros. This filing of the state audit comes as the CSU system already doing its own. That's right, Alex. On. And the main reason is transparency, with the officials saying that in order to gain the trust of the community, there needs to be an independent audit and not from lawyers that the university system is paying. Where were the people in charge saying, this isn't right. Assembly members Jim I'm Patterson, sorry. Rudy Salas, and 42 other legislators signing their names on the official request for a state audit into the CSU Title IX policies and procedures. It appears to so many of us to be a system that protects themselves. The audit request comes after several reports detailed sexual harassment claims at Sonoma State, San Jose State, and Fresno State. The system needs real reform. And the CSU community needs real protection. In March, USA Today articles detailed sexual harassment complaints and a Title IX investigation into Fresno State Vice President of Student Affairs Frank Lamas. Despite the allegations against him, the documents show Lamas was given the Lifetime Achievement Award, a $260,000 payout, and a letter of recommendation from Fresno State President Joseph Castro as long as Lamas retired and never worked for a CSU campus again. The fallout from the articles led to Chancellor Castro's resignation, which included a settlement that paid Castro $400,000. CSU retreat rights allowed Castro to teach at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo as a tenured professor after a year. The university system has done some embarrassing things, hurtful things. The university seems to be very protective of the higher echelons, uh, particularly in the chancellor's office and the presidents of the various uh, campuses. CSU is paying two law offices to do its own audit and investigation. A CSU spokesperson wouldn't go on camera, but said if approved by the legislature, the CSU system will comply with the state audit. Now, the audit request needed to be submitted by today in order to be voted on during the June 27th meeting. If approved, the audit will be done after the CSU audit or within four months of the date it is passed. Reporting live in studio, Medeiros Bab, KC24, local news that matters.